Bullion Bay and Hunyani to complete the lineup. Bullion Bay's gone on. Hanyani's loaded. 1800 meters to race. All set. And away in racing. They got off to a pretty decent start. Seven Kingdoms was the first one to go up to the head of affairs. Settling into second position then was Hanyani. In behind that is Argo Daba that settles into third position. Then came Full Court. Muhanad in behind those. Peter Fizaz and then came the Telmarka Bullion Bay. They go in a great gallop down the back straight and the leader is still Hanyani. From back in second was Seven Kingdoms. And then a length back to Argo Daba on the rail. The silver jacket is full court. Dropping in behind those was Muhanad, Pizza, Fizaz, and Bullion Bay is going to have to pass all two in as they go past the 1,000 meter marker. It's out in front. Hunyani leads by half a length. From back in second was Seven Kingdoms. Full court is behind those racing three wide. Then came Argo Daba, the brown jacket and yellow sleeves on the paint, about five lengths off of the leader. Piece of Fizaz being driven along into contention. In behind those was Muhanad Bullion Bay, still the tail marker as they swing right-handed. Now they've got 600 meters to go. Out in front is now Seven Kingdoms, overhauls Hunyani's lead. Hunyani's dropped into third position in behind that, then came full court. Piece of Fizaz is going for a rails run, Muhanad down the center, Bullion Bay improved to about four lengths off of the leader it's seven kingdoms out in front has established a two length lead here the only danger at the moment seems to be full court down the center Muhanad is also being driven along here comes Bullion Bay but is it far too late into the final furlong because seven kingdoms he's got a healthy lead seven kingdoms being eased up goes on and wins seven kingdom wins from back in second was Bullion Bay piece of pizzazz gets third position and maybe Fourth position will go to Muhanad. Number one on the card, Seven Kingdoms. Eased into the lead into the final 400 meters and never looked back. Craig Zaki doing the business for Gorkin Tezzi. And Seven Kingdoms, coming from a 113 day rest, comes back with a bang. Second will go to Bullion Bay, set at the back of the field for much of the race, and then came back to score into that second position. That's the fourth from Borrowdale.